Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. I feel like I haven't vlogged in so long and I have gotten a nice tan since and oh my god, I cut my hair since. Yeah, I got like, I don't know, a good like couple of inches cut off and I went to like a slightly sketchy place to get my hair cut. Ryan needed a haircut so I was just like, I'll just come with you and just get my hair cut. And like I didn't really care because my hair does grow so long. If you guys didn't already see this on my Instagram, this is what my hair looked like a year ago from like today around this time. And this is what my hair looked like literally right before I got it cut. So like a year's difference. My hair grows so freaking fast. So I was like, if they mess it up, it'll just grow out. But I was kind of sad to cut off my um, balayage because I did cut off quite a bit of it. But you can still see it. And it, I think it looks really cute. I think it looks good. Um, my bangs were cut a little bit shorter than I would have liked. But it's okay. Like I said, hair grows. But I wanted to start this video off by doing a little unboxing. <laughs> Funny story because in the last vlog, I was talking about how I wanted to buy lack of color hats and here they are. <laughs> I'm a very impulsive person and whenever I want something and want it for like a good bit, like I get it. Like there's no stopping me. So <laughs> I've been thinking about these hats for a while and it's funny because I was calling Laura the other day and talking about just like my shopping addiction, especially it's been bad during this quarantine. And I was telling her that and she was like, you know what, you just need to like think about the item that you want for two weeks. If you're still thinking about it at the end of two weeks, then you should get it. And I was like, that's definitely good advice, but I don't know if it's going to work for me. But I think I was like thinking about these hats for, you know, around two weeks. <laughs> I don't know if it was like exactly two weeks, but... I decided to get them from Bohemian Mama. I want to say one of the hats was cheaper on this website, and I think it's just like kind of like a boutique website. Yay! My hats! I'm so excited! They feel so... Okay, yeah, first impression, they feel like, like real good quality, and I hope they would because they were not cheap. Okay, this is so cute and so cool. And then I got this one too. This one's more of like a beachy one because it's like a little bit see-through. Um, but I will tell you which ones these are. This one is the Palma Wide Fedora. They have like a Palma something like Western Wide one. And I messaged them. I was like, I literally could not tell the difference. And that's why I was like waiting for so long because I was literally trying to like Google and like look at all these people's pictures to try to tell the difference and like see which ones they had. But... I could not figure it out on my own so I just asked them and basically it's just like the top of the hat. This one's like more of a fedora top and then the other one, I can't remember what they said but I'll try to like screenshot what they said here because it was just killing me inside. I was like what the heck is the difference and it didn't really say on the site. So um, this one is a Palma Y fedora. I got it in the size large extra large and it fits perfectly. And then this one is the Sunny Dip Fray Boater. It's so cute. This is just not a part of the hat. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, this one was in the size 57 and it's a perfect fit. They actually have um, sizing videos on their website or like on YouTube. I think they have it on YouTube that you can just like try to measure your head with a uh, tape measure. I think I like this one better, but all the Instagrams that I saw um, that I wanted these two. I liked that one better. Like I thought I would wear that one more, but this is so freaking cute. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna link these down below and I'll link them from this boutique because I want to say one of them was cheaper on this website than the lack of color website. So that's a fun little unboxing to start our vlog off. Um, I'm actually gonna go meet a friend to take photos with. I don't think I've done this since like the beginning of quarantine, like taking photos with another friend. Um, we are gonna be still like social distancing, but I wanted to let you guys know that Texas is pretty much like reopened, like restaurants are opening. I'm planning on getting sushi tomorrow night. And I mean, I'm still gonna be wearing masks in the grocery store and I'll still be taking the precautions needed, but I just wanna let you know Every state is different, so before you make any judgments or just write any comments that are not very nice, just think about what state you're in, what state I'm in, and they're possibly very different. So, like I said, just keep that in mind because everywhere is really different right now. You know what's funny though? I did say that the first thing I'm going to do is get my nails done. 
um, when things start reopening. And nail salons have been open for a while now, I think, and I haven't gotten them done. But it's just like, who's going to see them, you know? I kind of want to wait a little bit longer, you know, to start going to more social things to, like, show off my nails because I paid for them, you know? But, I mean, soon. It'll happen soon because they're breaking so bad. But they actually grew out and they're really, really strong now. So I'm really excited about that. But then I'm going to mess them up again because I'm going to get dipped. But I have to go. I'm going to go to South Congress, meet my friend Nagin. And that is why I'm talking so fast because I feel really rushed right now. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I'm with Nagin. Hi. And we are at Manana on South Congress. And it's pretty, pretty, uh, what's called basic like location. But I like it because it's like the industrial look with the green and stuff. So... Yeah, right. it's a good spot. Yes, we're gonna take some photos and try to do it fast because it's so hot. <laughs> Hello. How are ya? She always expects us to rub her belly when we come home. How was your nap? I'm a big fat dummy and didn't bring my vlog camera, but just got one iPhone clip. I mean, it was a pretty fast shoe. Um, I think I got there like 2, 2.02 and it's like 2.50. So not even an hour. We just like wanted to shoot one look really quick. Um, and so that was fun just getting out, but it was so hot and like my makeup was so good, but now it's like creasing a little bit because I like sweated a lot and it just like dried in the car. That sounds so gross, but it's true. Usually I'll just download the photos from my camera to my phone because my camera can do that. I have the Sony a7 III and it has like that Wi-Fi feature, but I was on low battery. So I'm going to upload them to my computer and get them on a Google Drive for her. My computer was literally on 1% of battery, so I plugged in the charger, and of course it like shut off, but <laughs> um, it'll turn back on soon once it gets a little bit of percentage on it. But that brings me to my next topic that really just sucks. So basically my iPad is like dead. I don't know how and like why. Like yes, it has like minor, very minor cracks on it, but like other than that, I don't know like what could have happened because it's a seventh generation iPad, I think, and I bought it in 2017 so not even that long ago for it to be like just like just a paperweight you know but it basically is now and Ryan's telling me to go get it fixed but I feel like since I don't have Apple Care on it it's probably going to be like upwards of like $300 or even $400 who knows and the new iPad just came out which is definitely a lot more expensive but I feel like it's definitely worth the investment because an iPad lasts a really long time just like a computer and I do use my iPad like a lot more than I did when I actually bought this other one but now I have so many uses for it especially because Procreate is so big right now um, and I actually like designed my whole photography site with like Procreate and like making like little graphics on it and literally just like designing the whole thing pretty much in Procreate and Photoshop on my computer. But pretty much I made all the graphics on Procreate. I feel like I should just go ahead and do it because like my iPad is literally dead and like I don't even know where to get it fixed because everything's like shut down and the Apple store I don't think is even like really open. I think it's like open only for like pickup orders and stuff. Let me know in the comments if any of you have the newer iPad, the newest iPad. I think it's like the iPad Pro. Aren't they all the iPad Pro? I don't even know. Wait, I don't know if I explained this yet, but basically it's grad season. Actually, it's it's not supposed to be grad season, but since coronavirus happened, um, all my shoes got kind of pushed back and rescheduled to now, which sucks for the grads because honestly, it's just really freaking hot. And like, I feel bad that they're like sweating and they have makeup on and they're, they're supposed to be pretty, which they obviously still are, but they're just sweating a lot more. And it's just so sad because usually they take them in like February or March where it's like really nice weather out, but oh well, we're gonna just have to deal with it. But anyway, so I basically have so many photos to freaking edit, like so many photos. And I think my issue is going from like not doing shit during quarantine and not having any like of my photography, videography stuff on the side to do. So I was like putting in all my effort towards, you know, YouTube and like Instagram and all of that stuff. But now that it's picking up, which is so great and I'm so thankful, but now I'm just like overwhelmed because I'm like, whoa, like <laughs> I wasn't ready for this, I guess. But honestly, I was. I'm so excited to get back into shooting. Um, but yeah, that's why I haven't really posted a video. It sucks because I swear the last vlog I was like, oh yeah, tell me like video ideas. I like want to post like three times a week. Like I'm so stupid. I feel like every time I say something like that, something just comes up where I can't post as much as I say I want to because I just get so like consumed with you know the project or whatever 
So my apologies for uh, giving you guys false hope. Hopefully I can get like a good majority done this weekend um, and I can get back on my normal schedule of videos and I want to try to post this as soon as possible. So like I don't want to do like crazy edits just because I want to get something posted on my YouTube channel and I hope you guys forgive me for that. Brian is actually away right now and it's going to be me and Sophie for the next, what day is it? I don't know until the 30th and when Ryan's home I keep this place really really clean like try to keep it spotless as much as I can but at the moment my apartment looks like a tornado went through because I got some packages so I opened them and everything's everywhere so I definitely need to do a deep cleaning before he gets back and like vacuum these carpets that's about all the updates for now I have a grad session tonight it starts at 6 p.m. and goes till 8 p.m. so I have a couple of hours I'm gonna try to film we'll see what I have on my ideas and we can go from there. It is Memorial Day weekend, which means that there are a lot of sales going on. So I'm actually gonna really try to get this vlog up just so you guys can shop these sales with um, some of my recommendations. I think I just have two, actually maybe three, but we're gonna start with these Abercrombie shorts. I'm gonna place some pictures here where I'm wearing them. They're the high rise mom shorts. It says they're usually $60 and they're on sale for 35. I really don't like stiff jean shorts because then you don't feel comfortable sitting down in them, but these are really great. I personally got them in a size 31 if you guys are wondering. The other thing that's on sale, this is like the blogger wine glass that is so trendy right now. Um, these are from Crate and Barrel and plus I got these during quarantine, like the beginning of quarantine. I had to wait so long for them to just ship out because I think they were back ordered, but they are ready to go, they are ready to ship. So I highly recommend these glasses because you don't have to just use them for wine. I personally use them more for cocktails and they just look so cute and like very like trendy. There's also an Amazon dupe, which I'll also link down below if you guys are interested, but they do look a little bit different and I don't know, I just prefer these ones and they're almost the same price so might as well get these ones i'll have the links to both of those products down below so you guys can like check them out um there's just so many good sales going on which sucks because i've been doing so much shopping already i've been loving Lacroix, and i never thought i would get it on the train because they literally taste like white claws to me without the alcohol but they still like kind of feel like i'm drinking a white claw so it, it just it just kind of throws me off but ryan has free LaCroix at Oracle when he goes to work, which obviously he doesn't have it now. So in quarantine, he's been buying some LaCroix and I actually really like it. Although sometimes we try different flavors and they're not good. This time we got passion fruit and like limoncello and they're both not the best. I really like just the lemon. And there was another one I liked, I think, but I can't remember, but the lemon is just really good. I feel a little bit tired. So that's why I grabbed this LaCroix to try to like wake me up. But I actually have something to tell you guys so basically y'all know that i've been treating myself to coffee like every friday or like a little bit more and the past two times i've gotten coffee i just feel like like there's a pit in my stomach like the tiny bit of inconvenience to me will happen or someone will say something slightly like rude or like mean or something or like bad to me and i'll just get this pit in my stomach the whole day like i will not be able to shake it until i like like actually get it off my mind or even until I just go to sleep. I've honestly never really experienced that feeling and it happened both times when I drank coffee. So it just made me realize like maybe I just need to stay away from it as long as I can. I mean, I really like it though because Summer Moon at least, it literally tastes like a milkshake. Like it's just like chocolate milk. It just makes me feel like really icky and like sometimes it doesn't even give me like energy like I want it to so I'm just like what's the point let me know if you guys have any other caffeine alternatives especially ones that like aren't as addictive as coffee because I think that's like why this whole time I've been pretty against it I just like don't want to be dependent on it and be that girl that like has a headache because she needs coffee because I always get so sleepy like midday like right now I'm just like I don't want to film because I just feel like I don't know, I don't have that much energy to and I don't wanna feel like monotone on camera. So I'll probably just go ahead and edit some more photos um, while I have the time and then I'll probably take off my makeup and go to my grad shoot because I don't really wanna wear makeup to it. It's literally so hot here, y'all. It's like 
it's already summer and it just it just sucks because we didn't really get like our spring because we weren't really like allowed outside i mean we could go to the parks and stuff but it's not like we we're like spending every day outside and it's also been really rainy here so it's just ugh, i don't know it's, i don't like to sweat and i'm just gonna have to embrace it once again <laughs> this is what my hair looks like in a ponytail now at least when it's curled so short but it's cute i think hopefully i just changed into a little tennis skirt and like a sports bra um the sports bra is from forever 21 and the tennis skirt is from walmart i actually just ordered one from amazon because i noticed that this style of the tennis skirt is just so straight and i wanted one that was like flared so i'll hopefully share that with you guys soon when it comes in the mail but i'm gonna just quickly take off my makeup I always use my daily Olay facial wipes. I think that's what it's called. These take off your makeup so well. So much makeup. That's not even all of it. I love the like foxy cat eye look and I tried to do it today, but I do not think I did it right. I used to be so into makeup, but now I'm just not as much. I feel like I don't really care about the eyeshadow as much. Like I'll do, you know, the bare minimum, but for foundation like skin I care a lot about so I take my time on that and my eyelashes I like when my eyelashes are like really really long so since this wipe has a little bit of soap on it you do have to like wash your face after but I like it for that reason because it like forces you to you know I'm not sure if you guys can tell but I actually have been getting quite a good tan while I've been doing these grad shoots um so I'm just gonna quickly put on a moisturizer. I love this one, it is from Rael Beauty and it is the Daily Restoration Gel Cream. I've been using this for a while now. I've finally been trying to put sunscreen on my face for at least my grad shoots while I'm out in the sun like that. So I'm using the Unseen Sunscreen from Supergoop. This has an SPF of 40. Just trying to protect my skin because I'm seeing like I'm getting a little bit of freckles and my mom has hyperpigmentation and I just don't want it to like become that. I'm not sure if it's just freckles or like if it could become that, you know? So I definitely want to try to remember to wear sunscreen every day, but definitely slips my mind most of them so uh for now we'll just do it for grad shoots and take baby steps but that is my skincare routine for now it is 5 30 so i'm gonna go and get my backpack ready and head out the door this is the camera i use it is the sony a7 III and before shoots i try to format my cards just so that i make sure that i have enough space even though my cards are always 128 gigabytes which is definitely a lot of memory but just in case i want to start clean so we're going to go ahead and format both of them um if you guys didn't know there is like a dual card slot on this camera so you have the option to write to both memory cards or you can just write to one and then once this gets filled then it can like write to the other but i just write to both at the same time just in case something goes wrong with one then I always have that backup card. All right, so I'm just getting everything ready, making sure I have everything. I have extra memory cards. Not that I'll need them because I'm only doing one shoot, but just in case. <laughs> um, and then I have all my extra batteries in here. Um, I have all my lenses, and I also have like this grad gown because especially with coronavirus, um, not everyone was able to get their gowns or like they got refunds or something like that. So I actually got my grad cap and gown on Amazon and it was pretty affordable. It definitely paid itself off. So any photographers who do senior pictures definitely order um, at least like one set on Amazon. I have like multiple grad caps. Speaking of grad caps, oh, there we go. It's like, where is it? Okay, it honestly just looks super plain, but it's really good to have just in case they don't have theirs. Um, because it adds so much to a grad shoot. Obviously, you're graduating and you want a grad cap. I most likely will not vlog during the grad shoot just because I don't really know her personally, but hopefully I can get a few clips and put them in the vlog. We'll see.
It hasn't even been 30 minutes outside, but I'm sweating. <laughs> My client is currently changing in her car and then we're gonna head to UT's campus. So she actually had a session which gives us like ample amount of time for like all the locations. And it's also really nice that near UT, there's a lot of other locations that you can drive to. And then there's like Blanton's museum, which is on campus, I think at the edge of it. There's the Capitol. There's so many like cool, like city spots too that you can take grad photos at. But this was the first time I took grad photos at the Capitol's. It is 8.04 oh, I think, but I'm done. There's a UT tower. I just got home and now it is time to eat dinner. It is currently 8.30, which like I don't love eating dinner this late, but I'd rather eat later than before my session because I just get like sluggish when I eat and just, I don't know. It's always better after. So I have not been spending money since Ryan's away. Um, I've been trying to eat up like all our frozen food, which is kind of nice. Um, and I know there's a chicken pot pie in here somewhere. I'm trying to eat like healthier, but it's kind of calling my name, so... Oh yeah, it's in the back. I've also been craving like making a smoothie, but we don't have any bananas. And I usually try to slice up bananas that are going bad and put them in like a freezer bag, but they went bad in the freezer. Like, is that a thing? They were like turning really brown and gross and stuff, and I was just like, I just need to throw this away. I don't think I want it in my smoothie, so... That was unfortunate, but hopefully I can go to the grocery store tomorrow because I have a sunrise shoe and then I have a sunset shoe. Um, but hopefully after my sunrise shoot, I can go to the grocery store. And I also just want like fresh fruit. There's like a new thing I love to do. I got a juicer off of uh, Facebook Marketplace and I love making fresh orange juice. It is like the best thing. It is better than normal orange juice. Um, so I really want to get oranges tomorrow, but honestly, like it takes like two bags to make a good bit of orange juice, which is honestly annoying because I have to cut the peel off the oranges and that takes time. So I'm going to set this to 400 and I think I'm going to take a quick body shower. I'm going to try to revive my hair tomorrow. I mean, I'm not really doing much, but I kind of want to put on makeup tomorrow since I have the full day and maybe film and I'm going to sushi later. But the issue is that I have like a sunset shoot and then I'm going to sushi. So I know I'm going to be sweating. So I'll probably just like wear makeup and just embrace the sweat like all my grads do. I'll be back. I'm going to go take a quick shower and just get all this sweat off me. I totally forgot that it takes forever to bake a chicken pot pie. So I've been waiting for a while and it still has like 30 minutes. So I just poured myself a glass of wine and I just started cleaning up a little bit. But I wanted to end this vlog so I can get it up for you guys as soon as possible. I know it was a lot of me just being at home, but hopefully the vlogs get a little bit more fun because I'm thinking we're gonna start going out a little bit more, just like slowly incorporating, like obviously I'm going to sushi tomorrow and when Ryan comes back, I mean, I think things will pretty much be open. Um, so I'm excited for things to reopen. Um, let me know how you guys feel about everything reopening in the comments down below. No negativity, just like your thoughts. Um, and I will see y'all in my next vlog. Bye.